Hey guys, it's Molly. Um, it's Monday, and it's like five o'clock, and I just made some coffee, and I'm really just like tired, actually. Like, I'm just feeling sluggish. Um, so please excuse any lameness and grogginess in my video. Alright, um, I haven't even drank this coffee. Hold on. Ooh, that's hot. Um, so, this week we're supposed to talk about gender identity. To me, gender identity is 100% internal. Like, like, it's how you feel what you are in term, in relation to your gender, regardless of whether or not you outwardly express it, because that's your gender expression. Um, it's how you feel inwardly. My interpretation of them? I don't know. I mean, I guess there's a spectrum of gender identity that would, you know, range from, like, like, male to female. And then, I guess, like, gender queer would be in the middle-ish, and, but you could fall anywhere on that. You could be in between, you know, like, woman, you know, female, and completely in the middle, like, gender queer. Like, you could still identify as a woman. And then there's, like I said, your gender expression, which is like, you know, say... I identify as a man, but I don't express any masculine, um, traits, I guess, or characteristic to each their own. <laughs> um, identity is kind of a, how, like, chemical makeup in your brain, like, it's who you are in your, in your own mind. When it comes down to it, your gender identity is all about you. That's all I've got on the topic. All right, so let's talk about embarrassing sex things. Um, this can be really weird. My mom's upstairs. She got home from work not too long ago, and I'm downstairs in the common area. Um, but anyway, let's just go for it. Most embarrassing sexual experience for me was um not with my last ex but the girl I dated before that um so I'd never really had like good sex before I guess I mean I thought it was good at the time but now looking back on it I've definitely had better um so I, the sex was great right and I, I don't know if I was in human sexuality at the time because I took that course and later learned, I think I was in it at the time when this happened so I personally as unfortunately personal as this is we are talking about sex um, I can ejaculate which is now you all know um, and so the first time it ever happened, it was, like, super embarrassing. Because that's not exactly the norm. So, like, mm, so, I didn't know. I didn't know if it was normal or if something was wrong. I was like, oh, what the fuck? I'm so sorry. Um, so, yeah, that's my most embarrassing. I mean, it's not... It's not really that embarrassing now, because I'm used to it, like it happens frequently now, um, but it is kind of embarrassing the first time you have sex with a new person and it happens, especially if you don't talk about it beforehand and it just happens, it's like, oh, you do that? <laughs> so there you have it, sex can be embarrassing. Boom. You guys have a great week. I love ya. Bye-bye.